I would rather be. We are having such a good time. You know, actually, this is a lot easier the earlier in the week. One of my first duties this week was to help christen the first major ship built on the Great Lakes in four decades. Four decades. And it's a symbol of what is happening to us regionally in the Great Lakes watershed. You're in it. We're in it. Every county that is currently in my district or that crooked bunch down in Columbus chooses to draw, all right? We're all in the Great Lakes watershed, okay? So we've got something in common in this part of the United States of America, and we have a big job ahead of us. And I am so thrilled that this county where I've had so many friends, anybody here ever know a man named Don Stricker who's no longer living? Okay. I met many, many good people here in this county long before it was ever drawn into the 9th Congressional District. So I feel very much at home. And in listening over here to Diane Salvi and to Scott Williams and to all of the talented individuals running for office and serving in office, this is a year for us to unite, and you are. This is a tremendous turnout on such a beautiful evening and you've chosen to give your evening to America. That means a lot to me. Because the way that one heals division is to build community. And by being here tonight, for those in public service who care about it and offer themselves, you help heal America. She deserves healing. She really does. Thank you. and all of those who have made uh, tonight possible, Chris, uh, your wife, uh, all, of, all of those who are taking time here. I really feel very privileged to be with you. I never expected that Sandusky County would be drawn into the 9th Congressional District. And with you, I look forward locally and nationally to a great Democratic victory. This turnout tells me something is for America and winning, we will have a chance to build her forward even more. So know that your time, your precious time, and what you take away from family life and community life to be here tonight really will make a difference. This young Tom Puffenberger here trying to get elected uh, in this very vast district, good luck to you, Tom. And uh, we all wish you the very best. I know your family, it's an honest family, and they've raised a good son. And we thank you for not going to work on Wall Street, but uh, helping to defend the rest of us. Now, you all know that uh, you're part of the agriculture and industrial heartland of our country, and our region, and I, this is proven to me every day, uh, that we, the people here, the communities, the values that you hold, actually represent the fullness of our nation. There are some people I serve with who simply don't have the assets that our region does. They don't have the diversity of people, and they have a little bit of trouble uh, measuring up to living in the modern era. But our region embraces diversity. Diversity of business and opportunity. This is a county that has both agriculture. I saw more heifers the other day. We were in Dusky Bear, right? We had our first agriculture here, and I served on the agriculture committee. And I need lots of advice because I've never represented Sandusky County before. But you'll find for the counties I have represented, the farmers feel very comfortable, and they've taught me a lot. And we have some of the most progressive farmers in America who live right here. And they are going to help us cure Lake Erie and the entire Great Lakes watershed. Their brilliance, their knowledge, their respect for the soil and the land is what will save our Great Lakes. I really believe that. And we have to find ways to help them turn things like lagoons into power. Okay, there are a lot of ideas I have. I won't burden you uh, all with them this evening. But we know that what America makes, builds, and grows is represented right here in Ohio, in this part of Ohio. 
we have fresh water. That's a blessing. In my work on my committee, I have many people who represent Southern Arizona, who represent California. They represent places where water is now being rationed as we have glasses of water on our table and we have rain this past week. Uh, our country is changing because of the climate and we here have assets. We must husband, we must shepherd toward the future. And I know you have that in your heart or you wouldn't be here tonight. So our region is home to farmers, it's home to industrialists, it's home to nurses, to caregivers, to people who have helped shepherd us through this pandemic called COVID-19. They, they did so much and they got so little public credit. Do you feel that? Are there any people here who've been nurses or caregivers or doctors who've worked in hospitals or care centers? Are any of you here tonight? If you are, stand up. Stand up. Because we're going to applaud you. Thank you. What they saw and what they did has been hidden largely from the American people. But it wasn't hidden from members of Congress who were privileged to see what you did. Thank you. God bless you. We have people who are truck drivers probably sitting in the audience. Laborers. We had one of them here, Scott be a candidate. Uh, electricians, teachers, think about this. Railway workers. We have one of the largest rail centers in the country right here and we can't seem to get the state of Ohio's people down there in Columbus to give us modern rail across the northern part of Ohio. In fact, a former Republican governor turned back $400 million dollars I have voted for. $400 California and everywhere. We got antiquated rail up here, and we are one of the six largest rail centers in, in, in the nation. So we need smart railway workers to advise members of Congress on how we fix this, both for passenger rail and for freight rail. We have steel workers. We're giving the rebirth of the steel industry in our area. We've all been a part of that. You've endured. You've lived here. You've stayed here. We know what happened when it collapsed. Okay, I'm old enough to have been there. In this past week when we dedicated that ship, uh, we see from Duluth, Minnesota, all the way to Cleveland, Ohio, and Toledo, and Burns Harbor, Indiana, we have the rebirth of the steel industry. Companies like Cleveland Cliffs have grown from a company of $1 billion to $20 billion. And you stuck it out. You stuck it out with us. And every one of these companies here, whether it's Whirlpool or whether it's Jeep, the people who lived here didn't give up on America. You never left. And some of you that I met this evening, you moved back here. Raise your hand if you moved back. I know you're out there because you told me. Okay? Okay, so for those that moved back home, thank you very much. This is a very special area of our country. We have stevedores, okay? We have mom and pop.